welcome back to Rushy Wash YouTube. Today I am joined by a miserable, <laughs> a miserable moody J gang who is cussing me for being late. But I just want to apologise and say I'm so sorry. And I'm so grateful for you coming on my show today because we've been trying to get this interview locked down for time now. You know, I really value your time and appreciate you coming here. So I appreciate you? my time as well. Good, I'm glad. By the way, I was 10 minutes early. She had to cheat to um, <laughs> say to me, please. Be there for eight o'clock. My speedy driving. I didn't even know. Do you I was know what? I forgot time. that you was a tuck. That I forgot that you was on time. You never knew I was. Do you know? On time. No, well, I, I mean, because like last time we met, you was on time. So wow. I should have, I should have taken that into account and known how you maneuver. Yeah, consideration. No. Yeah, because I, I'm used to dealing with people that don't know time. Okay. So if I told them eight o'clock, I know they're gonna get eight thirty. Okay. Yeah. So you done the black people. Yeah, time. I did. I did. I made that mistake because he's actually on said, time. For business, this is no good. <laughs> Yeah? But it's cool. She's learning. I'm you learning. I'm new to this. Alright, cool. Let me explain. I've come 10 minutes early. Quarter past eight's gone by. 20 minutes past eight's gone by. I was here at 22 past eight. 22. 35 minutes. 22 past, past eight. 30 I'm here. minutes past. She arrives, pulls up, and says, It's only half an hour late. That is bad. Then I've come into her um, establishment. <laughs> I've seen pork chops on the side. <laughs> That just I like put me pork. right off my whole, my whole <laughs> mood. I'm like, why is it right? So, hold on. when did you stop eating pork? Have you ever eaten pork? I've eaten pork back in the day. So, why did you stop eating pork? Because I watched the documentary and it's freaking foul. Are you into all this like, vegan stuff? No, or? no. Okay, no. so it's just the pork that you're yeah, against? Yeah, I'm not in the pork. The pork thing is mad. I've seen a lot of things. Worms and it's freaking like something. Yeah, nice. people have sent me videos and all of that stuff, but I like the way it tastes, so I still eat it. I believe you. I went, you know, I see it ready for jerking or whatever you're doing. We'll do jet for tomorrow. So now I've got you all warmed up in a better mood because you're, you're happy to be here and everything. His face is not saying that. But um, let's just have a little talk about what I've got on today. I'm feeling my outfit. You know, to the you know, you know. So let's have a talk about um, your brand and how that's going. My brand's going good, you know. It's definitely going good, man. I'm happy. I like the new colours that came out. All that um, got some of the grey stone wash things. Oh, okay, think. yeah, we got stone wash. We got everything. We got knickers. We got the uh, sports bras. <laughs> we got t-shirts. We got leggings. We got sliders coming. What about socks, bikinis for summer? Bikinis. We got kids wear. We got the whole shebang. All you have to do is type in O two. D, M and 4 Y's That's on Instagram and Snapchat Cool So how long has um, your brand been going for? Because it's been around for a, a while now, hasn't it? It's been around for like, this is the second year So it's actually quite brand new now Yeah, it's, it's new, years, it's new It's doing really well for yeah, it's doing, brand new Yeah, it's doing, it's doing well We're, we're going to It's gonna be in the shop soon We're just putting certain things together We're not rushing nothing We're taking stepping stones, baby steps of it We're not trying to just Because I can just go mad Yeah And just do the mad thing Yeah, but I'm just not right now We're just Well, that's where you see a I'm lot still of learning, brands, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of brands fail though by doing that Because then they get a yeah. bit of hype for a couple of months And they over buy Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing I'm not work. trying to do that Obviously, yeah. I stock up And I know what I'm doing I've got my customers I've got customers that tell other customers My thing's going on right I've even reached out to artists is that I know yet nothing mm. to get. Mm. So I'm just trying to do stepping stones. Right it's all now. come from like social media and word of mouth, isn't it? Yeah. So tell me a bit about your music and what you've been doing recently. Well, I've just brought out a CD 24 hours later. You would have known that because we'd done an interview before and it was all a blur, innit? It just, <laughs> um, why, you got, why you got, okay, this listen. Is the, this is the all right, cool. time round. I'm not gonna lie, we did, like, we did the interview like, uh, way back. In 2018, we did a video, but... Was it 2018? It was 2018, December 2018. Is that when we done the last thing? Listen, I time's know. going fast. I know, man. I know, I know. Time is... Because I could have swore that was this year. That's even worse. But I'm actually going to just let you in on a little something, something. Because I've been out of YouTube for probably about five, six months now. I've actually kind of... I've still been posting a bit on Instagram, but I've been a lot quieter on social media because I was going through some stuff. And you see me, I'm the type of person that if I am not happy and I'm not smiling, I'm not energetic, I can't be in front of the camera and acting and pretending. Mm. So I came out of the game just to really focus on myself. Now I'm feeling back on 100 December. So that's why yeah uh, yeah so basically we did an interview before Summer I kind now. of ruined it a little Summer. bit Summer. yeah I know I know but we're back here now man we made it work we made it happen let's not look at the negatives let's I'm turn the negatives into no positive. negative I'm just I'm just <laughs> deep in how fast time's flying it was ages yeah. ago Did you get it? I thought it was this year to be honest yeah but don't you realize this year it's flown by we're in May yeah. we're in May already Five months, I know. 
I know. Yeah. It's crazy. Literally every single week I'm thinking to myself, set myself goals and not and not trying to miss them because this year is gonna fly like that. So yeah, so sorry, going back to your music. Yeah, twenty four hours later, that's the last project that I released. It's on all digital outlets. What was it about 24 hours? Basically, why I needed it 24 hours later? Because one of my friends owns a studio called Decca Artists. And he basically gave me 24 hours to wrap up the project. So you was in the studio for 24 hours? No, we've okay. done it like community service, if you've ever been. I haven't, no. All right, then. <laughs> it's time, like, you'll do, like... So say if you get, like, a thousand hours, uh -huh. you'll have to go there, like, every week, and then it clocks down. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. So we done it, like, 24 hours, and it will go in there two hours then that's 22 hours i've got left right then an hour here and we wrapped up the project luckily in 24 hours so how long in the whole period of time did it take you it didn't take us that long but we was just clocking down time in it remember because i got features on it mm. some people can't come at that time so let's say about a month okay so tell me like when, you know when you're in the studio do you go to the studio with your lyrics already written down yeah 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 do you I, don't spend like time rap, I don't like i don't like i don't like rap i don't even i don't even spend time i don't really write at home i'm always on the go in it so mm. i write in my car in it that's how i do it i listen to instrumentals as i drive I do voice recording so I'll be freestyling my lyrics and then when I get a time to sit down or whatever in my car I'll start writing down and then it just comes together then I go studio I don't like to go to the studio and just write that's that's just time consuming for me that makes sense I, yeah. Um, yeah I like to have my stuff prepared pre-prepared and then I go there and just nail it and I'm done you can ask anyone that's been studio I don't waste time in there it's long I don't like sitting there hearing the same beat for an hour you get bored. <laughs> I can tell you one of those people that have a short attention span as well. Yeah, you should have known. <laughs> you didn't really care about that. I did care. Oh, I, I did care. I just thought that you knew. I thought like it was a well known fact that my timekeeping is a joke. Even Black though I've time. been improved, I have improved a lot since this year. I've actually been working on it. Inspiration. So when you are sitting in your car and you're all, like listening to these instrumentals, what inspires you to kind of create your lyrics? Me. You. Me. So do you sit there and think of yourself? What of explains to me? Of <laughs> so it's hate to me what goes, no else, what goes through your head when you're thinking about your lyrics. It's just life experiences that I've been through and things that I've seen and things that I've done. It just all comes together. When you've been through things and you've seen things and you've witnessed things and all of this stuff, your lyrics will just come together. It's just like you talking to someone. When you know something you're talking about, it's fluent how you're talk saying it, isn't it? Yeah. It just goes, it just flows. That's just how it is with me. I've been through a lot of stuff. As soon as the beat comes on, it, it just cut, it's just like magic, it just works. Do you see yourself as quite a knowledgeable person, someone of a bit of wisdom? Of course, I'm getting guidance. Why do you put yourself in that kind of category? What do you what mean? What makes you think that you, you've got that, that knowledge to give pe other people? Because I am. I'm gang guidance. That's yeah, but why? Why do you think me? Why? why? do you think? Is it because of the experiences? Because I'm slick. My experiences... Because I'm slick. Of course. My experiences, <laughs> I've been through the majority of things that these people talk about. I know things. I've seen... I've got friends that are never coming out of jail. You know like that? I've got friends that have been in jail for a long time. I've got friends that dodge that. I've got friends that live abroad. I know the ins and outs of things. What makes you want to kind of share that, that whole kind of gang guidance piece? Because obviously we've, you've got... Gang guidance on Instagram, which really focuses on you know positive vibes yeah. and promoting positive culture. So, what makes you be that person, take on that role to try and promote that? Because you've like, seen so much bad happen. Because you. the street life, obviously, because I know the street life. There's nothing good that really comes out of it. There's a trap in it. To save a few people that I can save and that I have saved a few people behind the scenes. That makes me smile on it like raw. I'm educating certain people that don't know the road in it. Because no one's talking to them about nothing. Everyone cares about their self, isn't it? If I can say certain things and just put it out there, follow everyone back so everyone feels comfortable on the gang guidance page. So they want to be in tune with what man's dealing with. You get it? Things like this make, like, obviously, I carry it on because of the feedback that I get. And if there was no feedback, it would be like, I'm talking to a brick wall. You're getting yeah? feedback because you're touching yeah, people. Yeah, so I'm touching people. I touch females only, but, you know, <laughs> but yeah. Obviously, I'm touching sores, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> One time I was driving. I get spotted all over the place or whatever, but I was driving, and I was driving through McDonald's drive through there was a guy that was there. I was like, I just tried to give him my money, but I got my head down and I'm looking at my phone. And he's like, you're a gang, innit? I'm like, yeah, brother, man, you're done, though. But he's like, nah, bro, the gang guidance thing saved me. I saw my life. I'm not telling no lies, yeah? He said, the gang guidance thing saved me. 
he was on the road and he heard one of my like one of my videos that like, he watched one of my videos and I talk about the streets as a trap and he said he come off the road he started working and doing this thing because I've said stuff like you working it don't mean that you're a nerd like mm. it, it doesn't why does that perception like, but what I'm from? trying to it comes from being a rude boy isn't it? if people want to be a rude boy you know that comes with there's a good few things that's in the bag what you carry as a rude boy isn't it? status all right then so working a nine to five for a white man or whatever they're not gonna do that mm. they're gonna want to sell drugs and all of this type of stuff all of that type of shit but i've said bruv hustling's hustling bro you're working innit you could work for a year you might stack 80 bags mm -hmm. from through, from working in that year yeah if you got a good job or whatever and now you're starting your own business the next year it doesn't matter that you're working but people don't look at it like that people are like oh fuck this uh miserable and that do you think it's because they care about what other people's opinions yes are? a lot of people do care about what like the internet world has fucked up a lot of I people know. I know. People are scared to do certain things because of what or someone else will think. Yeah, so that's why the difference between me and these people, I don't care. I just do what I want to do. I've never really cared. Because they don't want to be put in a certain box. Yeah, I'm in that box. <laughs> yeah. You own in that box, yeah? I don't care. <laughs> I'm in that box because I'm unruly, I don't like, It comes down yeah. to your self-confidence because I think it's all about self-confidence, especially when it comes to social media, because if you are the type of person that's easily affected by other people's opinion or easily affected in terms of just trying to impress other people because you're not comfortable with yourself, then you will be, you will conform to what social media wants you to do. Whereas if you're confident, you mm. know yourself, confident in everything you're doing, what you're achieving, then you won't have these problems. That's what people need to work self-esteem mm. being confident especially in, in black men and not caring about what the next person thinks once you know your brain like i go off energies and powers and everything there my thing's yeah. different i'm spiritual and that yeah if i don't feel your energy i don't feel there's not a lot of guys out there that are spiritual you know yeah, i don't care about no, i do I mean, care and i guy, don't care but, but it's good that's what i mean i mean it's good for guys to be spiritual and be more in touch with what's going on around them you have to be in it because that got me out of a lot of situations this is when i started to be more in tune with my spiritual side it's got me out of a lot of things so yeah. what have you been in a situation where it could have got really bad and then it because you was free, you went free, but it made you think. Mm. I prevented a lot of situations because my spirit told me, nah, I go by gut feelings and that. A lot of my friends are in jail because they don't go by nothing. They just think, fuck it. I don't just think fuck it. I, just, I think first. I think ahead of anything. Anything I'm doing, think ahead. I don't just do it for the sake you of doing to, it. You have to be logical. Yeah. yeah. Especially if it's certain things like that, where I could be going to jail or whatever. I've got friends that ain't coming home. I've got friends that are burdened. Mm -hmm. I've got friends that wish they didn't do what they've done. So for me now not to educate certain youths that might be looking up to me, it don't make no sense because you're just going to go down that road. Just See, nothing. I get what you're saying and I, I really love everything you do with Gang Guidance. I think mm -hmm. it's so positive and I think it, a lot more people should be doing it in different mm -hmm. areas. However, on the, other, on the flip side of it, I feel like there's part of our youth culture that are completely lost and even though we are trying to support them and give them mm -hmm. that guidance, they're already too far gone. Yeah, they're what, too what far gone. Think? A lot of people are too far gone but what it is now you still gotta try and reach out but certain people you don't listen you're gonna feel in it you're gonna learn the hard way in it so when i was telling you certain things and you're not listening because i look i've had people saying that i'm a hypocrite because okay. i've done certain things but me i've done them things and i'm still out here i've left a lot of things alone only a few people survived this thing you know also, you've learned from the things that you did. Yeah, well. I've like learned. You just did it and then just yeah, I've it. learned from it, and this is why I do the gang guidance thing. I show man, like it's not worth it. it. Doesn't make no sense. Nothing bad is good. If you know it's bad, it can't be good, Nothing can it? Nothing's gonna come from it. But then you know you gotta think about these younger kids, fifteen year olds, eighteen year olds that are. They're on social media, they're seeing jewels, and jewels yeah. money, cars, girls. They want that lifestyle. The yeah. only way that they can get to that lifestyle in their mind yeah. is by following down that route. So how are we as a society going to get our younger people to understand that there are other ways or other opportunities to help them get to those goals that they, that they desire? Because this is what it's all about. It's all about what people desire and want. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. They like the glamorous stuff. Mm. Like, if I look at Bill Gates, man, he don't wear no jewels and that. These men are billionaires. Smart of his money. Yeah, but what? So why don't we want to be smart of our money? Because we're black people and we yeah. like to show off. <laughs>
<laughs> we like to look good, do we like to show off our things we've got nice things in it? I think that's how our culture has been. We yeah. not just, you know, Caribbeans, Africans, we've all done it. We've all got to, you know, we have to show off a certain way. Like if I, even if I think about my grandparents, my grandma would say, Oh, put on your good good, you know, your good good jewellery. What's that statement? That statement saying that we have to put on our nicest thing to feel at our best and that's when we that's when we're kind of up there in our eyes. It's a whole mentality, it's a whole culture of mentality. I just don't see how we're going to change. But the state of the internet, it can't change like that. Because the kids are seeing, for instance, these drill artists, they're like 17, 18. The fame that they're getting off drill, the kids want to be like them. It goes like this, like, the kids want to be like them now. These drill artists have got beef. These kids are creating beef out of nowhere yeah. just to be like these guys. I'm not saying ban the music and that. Like, I love music. I, I don't like drill music, but... Oh, I love drill. Nah, I don't really you like it, man. It. I'm not really... I can listen to... I can listen to Granddad. <laughs> uh, you are it's, it's, not, it's not about being a granddad, it's about the music. The music is you know ABC. You feel, the, you feel the beat and you want to move your shoulder. I know you do. No, when you, I listen, hear a drill beat, you want to... When I listen... Right. Watch this, you're talking about Gunling, man. <laughs> I'm talking about all different. <laughs> <laughs> I had Gunling in my head when I was doing that, I'm not going to lie. Gunling, that's a, that's a, I like that song. But I can't listen to too much of it. I'm more creative in my thing. I can't my listen to too much of it, man. You see my music? My music paints pictures. It's not just this fucking bollocks drill music. I'm telling you, bro. The drill music is the same old shit. It's uninspired. I, get like, it. I, I like, completely get it. Yeah. There's, no, there's nothing to it, bro. Like, yeah. when I, like, I've got a tune called Traces. I'm talking about my older smoking drugs, certain a man's mum's trying to fuck man. Real life stuff, like my brethren's dead. Yeah, over bullshit, we need to stop this shit. Like shit like that, what are they not talking about? But don't you think we've got a music industry that is completely split now? So you've got the conscious rappers that talk mm. about real life stuff, that have gone through things, mm. and uh, they're artists, they're actual real artists mm. because they're, they're bringing their, yeah. their music into art. Mm. Whereas you've got on the other side kind of trash, top 20. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, you know, which like, is what like the young people today want to listen to, which is nonsense, but yeah. it's could be. Each to their own though, innit? Like, I just like real music. Obviously this drill music, some of it I can listen to and some of it puts me in the mood that I just want to drive my old one. This is the power that it's got, innit? I start speeding. Oh, you start lie. speeding. But yeah. the beats, is the beats, yeah? The beats that he spit on, very, it's like evil music. Listen to the beat the properly. Be I know. Turn off your lights and listen to the fucking beat. Yeah, all right then. It's like you're chanting or something. But it's oh, cool. you're scaring me now. Am I listening to devil music? Of course it is. Stop it, because I'm. This is devil it's music. <laughs> Me, do you listen to Joe? Oh, I'm going back to Illuminati no, days. No, man. not really. I've had, I've had my spell where I listen to it all the time. Oh, uh, now you're doing it because you heard the devil. Really. I feel you. It's not even that, believe it or not, I just got bored. Uh, listen, turn off your lights and listen to the drill music and uh, light some candles. That scares me. It actually scares me because that whole devil worshipping thing. Yeah, but but do you know what? It's all. Uh, all look, watch this. Music, you Think know? about it. you got to use your head with this thing, yeah? Because obviously, you know. You're listening to drill music, all they're talking about is stabbing man, killing man. I'll be ops. real with you, I don't always know what they're saying. Oh, uh, that's even... <laughs> this is... I'll be it. so real! I don't you see what I'm trying to say to you Becky. Yeah, All right. Suck this elephant, something like that. See, yeah. you don't. It's the beat that's <laughs> waving you along. It is, it is, it is. It's the beat. It is. But that's the thing, it depends what, what mood I'm in. There's times when I need to listen to proper rap and music that's actually going to touch me and then there's times where I just want to bubble to a beat so if mm. I want to bubble to a beat I might put on a bit of drill uh, yeah I hear that man like to drill like, they're doing their thing man it's good that they're doing their thing they're making money off their thing and like, you get me and they're building their careers and that I'm happy for them but at the same time the thing Stop is just you. evilness that's what Wait, it why? Is when you say evilness <laughs> you're talking about the beats this and thing. what they're actually saying do you, and you think it's creating a bit too much animosity no it's, it's music at the end of the day yeah that but is a certain like drill is a certain type of music that music there is about beef is about killing that is all is about everyone screaming get yeah, like you said there's a there's thousands of other people like you saying i don't even know what they're saying i just becky that's what you hear so you just hear the chorus <laughs> but they're talking about stabbing man they talk about this that they talk about their ops that man dead and but it's music this goes on in music i'm not saying my type of music we don't talk about that stuff we do but there's, we'll have a girl tune now. Them drill artists girl tunes sound like fucking boy tunes. It just sounds the same shit. They're doing it on a drill tune. They can't do it on a slow tune. They're not versatile. That's my thing. I like verse, like people Versity, that's versatile. Yeah, yeah, that can so, just jump on any beat. Yeah, do their thing. So, These people are very straight. 
that's something that's been um, well, I don't know if you, you probably have seen this all over social media the last couple of days is all of this uh, kind of this ends rapper UK rapper kind of conversation about whether East is better South is better West yeah, where are you from? Still, you're from South, South. So obviously from South we've got like Giggs, Stormzy, we've got quite a lot of people from South but I feel like there's quite a lot of people from all different areas and it's kind of hard to stipulate what area is the best even though I have to say UK Gossip TV put South as the best but don't you, do you not think that it's um, <laughs> South London mm -hmm. but do you not think it's difficult to kind of say right that area is the best we've got so many different types of artists in all different areas No one's the best man mm. No one uh, there's six bitters in everyone's area. You get it? I can't say, ah, yes, yeah, South's the best or North's the best. There's sick artists from North, West. You get it? Yeah. I can't specifically say, like, yeah, East London is the best. You get it? Not me. I, I couldn't do that. Like, there's sick artists everywhere. I think that's the thing. It's just there's so much different talent widespread yeah. across the whole of London. It's yeah. really hard to just stipulate once specific area is yeah. the talent because it's not true it's mm -hmm. everywhere so tell me what you've got coming up in the future like right? what's your plans for the rest of the year well for the rest of the year i'm going to keep pushing the clothing slowly obviously 2020 we're going to get the stuff in the shop that shop's already approaching me now but no i'm not ready to put it in there because i'm working on my website i'm trying to work on everything but I'm not yeah. doing it. Anything that blows up overnight doesn't last. It just don't last. Nah, yeah, Do you get what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's better to take stepping stones and take it slow and work it that way, innit? Do you get it? I've got a whole heap of other stuff going on at the same time. So what's that? Music? Yeah, I've got music, I've got everything. I'm an entrepreneur. I've got like... The YouTube. Stuff. I've got a lot of stuff. I've got gang guidance coming back. I've got my own interviews that I'm doing. It's called Raw Worth Interviews. That's on my gang guidance TV. I've got a gang guidance TV. What's YouTube. it called? Road? Roadworks interview. Thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me. I know no that um, it's been a bit of a big chunk out of your busy schedule today. No, I, I, I had time. I, had time. I made time for you. Oh, so. Yeah, I made time for him. I, I did make time for you. Go away. Don't get, don't get involved. I made time for you, man. Sit like, I, to, I made it all nice and comfortable. Offered you drink. Mm. Offered you some pork chops. <laughs> you didn't want it. No, I did my best to be the hostess of the most then. And I modelled your clothes all nicely. Lovely. Represented. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really no appreciate problem. you no problem. Um, coming and sharing your expertise, giving us a bit of gang guidance. Gang guidance. We all need a bit of gang guidance, guys. Trust me, man. Just so, follow the Instagram, gang yeah. guidance. My main Instagram is guidance gang. My clothing is O2DM and four wires. My music Instagram is J Gang Music. Oh, how one. many Instagram? <laughs> all right, thank you. And oh, no, hold on, you've got one last nice thing to say about me because you've been horrible. The outfit looks. No, but the stunning. outfit came from you. <laughs> Outfit. No, you can't. That that smile with the outfit. Ah, right, cool, the smile. Yeah. yeah. That works. Right. I went to the man. <laughs> Thank you. Take care.